six whole gears. Oh. One Jay-Z. We'll get to that another day. This Tech Tip Tuesday is going to be talking about the reverse drum. Now, I don't know how this is really going to apply ultimately. Probably maybe for you uh, eBay searching Corvette servo guys that want to beef up, beef up the second shift. Or guys trying to rebuild their own that don't quite understand what's going on here. Or guys just, just, just want to know. Um, so let's just talk about a stock unit core unit because that's what all three of these drums came from I got three examples here and a couple bands so this first one this is a clapped drum okay I mean it is shot we try to cut it we're gonna try to cut it you can't just sand these okay you have to cut them with a lathe or some piece of machinery that can do things like that uh, because if you take a straight edge as you know, your band rides flat. And you take a straight edge, and it may be very hard to see on the camera, but the middle is sunk down. The sides are up. It is not flat. I think that's one of the biggest failure points of the 60s. Things are not flat or not as they seem. The reason why they're not flat, this is an OEM band. It's pathetic. It's thin. It's like two and a quarter. That band does not utilize the full surface of the drum. So the harder you're pressing the gas, the more pressure is being applied. And that is little servo pin and the little anchor pin is putting so much strain on this center. And there's so much heat from it, especially you guys that start slipping and just run the whole 4L60 into the ground and completely grenade it then bitch about the transmission's fault. It's not flat, especially under those scenarios or if you got like 200,000 miles or something. When you couple that to the wide band like we use and you put it on this drum not really thinking, well it's not grabbing the middle because that's sunk in. There's only so much flex these components, these pieces of paper have. And this here in the middle is a great example of what I'm talking about. This is one we tried to cut for demonstration purposes only. We already knew this drum was fucked. So, nice, smooth, smooth cut. Perfectly flat. Almost three quarters of the way around. Excuse my sloppiness. I'm really trying here. I'm doing my best, guys. Smooth, almost all the way around. Look at that dark, big stain of burn. Yeet, yeet, yeet it right into the fucking pavement. This thing was run into the ground at one point because of probably an irresponsible owner or torn seal or something like that. You can't cut this anymore. It's gonna be lopsided, it's gonna ride funny. It's junk, junk. And honestly, so is this, light it on fire. Get rid of it. Now, this is a perfect drum. This one is cleanly cut, a thousandth at a time, ever so carefully, and it's perfectly flat and will utilize the whole surface of this band. So for you guys slamming in Corvette servos that you found on eBay, clearance it. Make sure it's right. Make sure it's flat. Chances are that new purchase and you're really excited, I hate to crush you, but the Corvette servo may not work because you may be dealing with this or even this if it's just too late. See you guys next week for our next Tech Tip Tuesday.